This week has been filled with major headlines across the nation and around the world. One America's Rachel Asenis takes us through the top stories in our Week in Review. The week begins at the White House, where the Trump administration introduces a new immigration rule. This new rule has the ability to affect about 400,000 people when it is implemented, if that happens on October 15th at Tuesday. Riot police clashed with protesters inside Hong Kong's International Airport. The chaos broke out today after officers entered the airport and started beating and arresting the demonstrators there. Meanwhile, the U.S. delays China tariffs until December. Midweek. And we are following breaking news out of Sweden, where a Swedish court finds rapper ASAP Rocky guilty of assault. Today's ruling states he will not be serving any more jail time, but is being ordered to pay damages to the victim. Also on Wednesday, the Dow drops 800 points. Wall Street plummeting as the bond market flashes a recession warning with the two-year and 10-year Treasury yields inverting for the first time since 2007. Thursday. Philadelphia police continue to uh, face off with an armed suspect who's barricaded in a home. Now, the standoff began around 4.30 p.m. local time Philadelphia when police were serving a narcotics warrant in the nice town neighborhood. Plus, President Trump rallies supporters in New Hampshire where he throws his support behind former advisor court. Lewandowski. And he's tough and he's smart. And I'm hearing he's thinking about running for the Senate from New Hampshire. I don't know. Meanwhile, former Colorado Governor John Hickenlooper drops out of the 2020 race. Finally, on Friday, Jeffrey Epstein's death is ruled a suicide by the chief medical examiner in New York City. Plus, Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib rejects Israel's offer to visit her family in the West Bank after the country blocked her and Representative Omar from entering the country. And finally, open for business, but not for sale. The week ends in Greenland, where the Danish parliament rejects U.S. reports President Trump was looking to buy the world's biggest island. Rachel Stennis, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.